What's up, y'all? Welcome to Poseidon Analysis, where every new video watched is another video made. So, apparently, uh, Tiger Woods just won, just won it, uh, just won something uh, in a game of golf. Now, I don't be watching golf like that, but I'm, wow, he is still playing. I can't believe my guy is still playing golf, like, professionally. If this was basketball, bro, he would have retired a long time ago. That's how you know. Like, I mean, obviously, I would assume people work up some kind of a sweat when they play golf, but that's how you know. Like, bro, it's not that phys. It's like not really physical when it comes to when you it's being compared to other games like basketball, you know, hockey, whatever. You he might be playing this until his nineties. Like, I don't know. That might be going a little too far, but hey. I'm surprised he's playing this long. Anyway, let's see what this is about. Playing in the final group. Grouping, I should say, of three. And as you know, with weather coming in, they went off early. Here on seven, middle of the fairway as he was on Saturday. Bogey's at four and five. He knows exactly where this hole is located, using the softness and the slope. Knocks it in there for a tap in. And that really got him centered and back going the right direction. But Molinari made a good up and in there. Just He wasn't allowing any wobbles, and it was like he was going to need to get some help. Go ahead. I think this is really one of the key putts he made all week. Why? He knocked it well over the green, uh -huh. and he was behind at this point a couple of shots. He knocked that one. Then at nine, this is the key putt, really. It's a two putt from here. I mean, that's a, that's not even a 50-50 proposition. No, this this is absolutely amazing. Not only the, the imagination to get the ball that high and up against the fringe, but the perfect touch to roll the ball down there within a foot of the like I said I don't be watching golf but how is that ball still rolling how is that physically possible not only that but it's going so slow and rolling at that like bro golf is on a like on some on some like completely different level bro it's still going oh you can stand up there and hit 50 putts and maybe not do any better i believe the quote earlier this week was i have a pretty good mental rolodex about this course i'd say that that was pulled from from deep in the rolodex then after a drive on 15 it gives him a green light from the right side of the yeah, fairway you know this is a dangerous shot we see guys yeah. get wonderful shots here time after time but if you don't hit it perfectly it's over the green you can't get it up in it comes up short it goes back in the water he set himself up for a long lag putt which he his speed on his long putts was very very good over the last 36 holes and this is what you want to do when you're at the lead or near the lead of a championship just roll it down there stress free take it easy More Molinari hit a pine cone on his third, went in the water, made his second double of the second nine. And when Tiger makes this birdie and Molinari backs up, Tiger now has the lead on his own. And he had been joined at 12 under Dustin. I hear that word all the time when it, come, uh, when it comes to golf birdie. What is a birdie? I'm about to look that up after this video. What is a birdie? <laughs> Why is it called that? That's the second question I'm going to look up. Why is it called that? Whatever the birdie is, why are you calling it a birdie? Does it have something to do with birds? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Johnson came up from out of nowhere. He was in the mix. Kepka's in the mix. Patrick can't lay for a minute. But now with a one-shot lead, this bird, the tee shot on 16, Andy. Yeah, he, he thinks this is pretty good, but you're not sure until it gets going to the left, a foot to the right, and it doesn't come down the hill. Here we go. And this is now of a sudden you're starting to think 2005 where he, he chipped in for a birdie there to take the lead but then he bogeyed 17 and 18 exactly so. stiff there i heard another term bogey we so we got birdie and bogey what's with y'all and b's and b words y'all love y'all b words and golf don't y'all what is with the b words He's got to still finish the business with the tap-in. And right now, there's so many things going on inside of him. Just stay calm, make a good stroke. He does that, puts it in the center. But now, he still has to play the 17th and 18th. The key, of course, finding fairways on the way home from here. Another look. Every birdie being met with roars of approval. And after a par on 17... 
Three wood off the tee. Fairway's the key. Dewey is trying to keep it short of the bunkers. The audience is quite close right now. Aren't any of them scared at all that they may, like, right to the face down? I really hit myself, but I'm good, though. <laughs> Aren't they scared that they might just, boom, catch one right to the face? I mean, I know he's Tiger Woods, so I, I guess the trust is there, maybe. But still, y'all pretty close. Like, not me. Nope, not me. I think he's going to be a little bit surprised that this ball ended up going as far right as it did. And there's a tree that overhangs the second shot that gave him a little bit of problem. But the fact is he's in position. He needs to make a five to win because Brooks Kepka had a great look at Brody to make it a one-shot lead but was unable to convert. So that meant Tiger had five for the win. Yeah, it's... Uh, obviously, he would have loved to finish off walking down, waving at everybody, but he, he's got it up there short right below the hole. All he's got to do is get the ball up on the green, and he plays a nice, safe, smart third shot. He doesn't go directly at the hole location. He goes out to the right, so if he hits it a little bit too hard, the slope is going to stop it. So this is a perfect play, a perfectly well-thought-out shot. All he needs to do now is two-putt from there, and his fifth green jacket goes in his locker. And again, calm, calm, centered. His family beginning to think it's almost here. I thought he made this one. I'm not trying to disrespect anybody at all. But even if you are a, a golf fanatic or a golf fan or whatever, you got to admit, whether you like it or not or you're obsessed with it or not, you got to admit. Golf. We're just going to say it's so slow paced. It's not like any other sport. Golf, fast paced. Even baseball, fast paced, to be real. Like, well, at least way more fast paced when you compare it to golf. You know, like soccer. Like, all these sports are fast paced, which makes it like thrilling. You know what I mean? Golf is. So my question for y'all is, if you are a golf person, how do y'all even how do y'all even get into this sport? Like, how did y'all get into it? Tell me your story. If you are watching this right now and you have a story about how you got into be liking golf, tell me because I just can't see that ever happening for myself. I'm watching this because I mean Tiger is a, uh, one of the greats. Like we all know this, he's. Every time you hear about golf, you hear about Tiger, like, and it is entertaining right now. It is entertaining, like, to be real. But I'm only watching clips, like, pieced together, and it's, like, a five-minute clip or something. And, and then after that, it's a wrap. I'm not fun. I'm not at my TV watching it for two hours straight or whatever. I don't know if I can handle that. I can handle this. That's why it's pretty entertaining. Tell me. I need to know. So did he. <laughs> so did he. He wanted to go out the right way. He was ready to give you that fist pump. That's all right. It just allows the drama to build a little further. And inside two feet up the hill. In fact, he never broke a smile. He never, not once, until he showed any reaction. Now the next 15 minutes is absolutely incredible. Nance in 97 called it a win for the ages. So is this one. Different age, 43. Joe LaCava is caddy, a great guy, a great sports fan, a guy who's been a, a rock for him during the years. I and mean, this is the moment. Andy, avert your eyes. I'm going to need you for the rest of the segment. I'm just saying, I can't have you be in a puddle up here, but it's hard not to. There's Charlie. There's Tito. There's daughter Sam. It's just a guy who's been through a lot. And, again, a lot of it was self-inflicted. But there's a level of respect among peers. Look at that. Look at the star-studded receiving line. Thomas, Fowler, 
Bubba, Sandra Shoffley playing well again. There's Brooks. Hey, Brooks. He, Tiger waited for Brooks at, at Bell Reeve. Brooks for him, waiting for him here. Ian pulled to another great one. Another champion there. How long they're waiting to show respect. And then there it is. Slide that jacket back on. With the, with the mock turtleneck and the green jacket, it's like old times. That green does not go with that red at all. The whole time, I'm like, he, as soon as he put that green, that green jacket on, I'm, I was, I wanted his red shirt to at least turn black. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, that whatever uh, Tiger won, I, I don't know, whatever he won, congratulations. Um, golf, man. Golf. This is an interesting clip, though. It was interesting. That's it for this one, all guys. My name is Terrence, aka Poseidon, aka Poseidon Analysis. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Tiger!